Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video episode of Coin Sutra. I'm your host Harsh Agrawal. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create Binance API key. Now, if you're using any third-party tool like a trading terminal, a crypto trading bot, or even you're managing your portfolio using any tool like Coin Tracker, uh, Coin Tracking dot info, you would need your API key. And a lot of you kind of kids baffled like what is API key? What do I do with that? And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly everything about that. So without further delay, let's go ahead and let's learn about Binance API key. All right, so very first thing, uh, what you need to know is using the API key, any third party tool communicate with your Binance account. They can do trade on your behalf. They can check your balance. They can also query your tra previous trading history so that they can calculate your taxes or calculate your portfolio profit or loss. Some of them also can deposit withdraw fund. And this part is very important that when you're creating an API key, you want to change your permission to ensure that any third party cannot withdraw your fund. And I'll show you how to do that. So to do this, there's one thing which you need to know, you need to have set up two FA two factor authentication on your Binance account using Google Authenticator. If you don't know about that, or if you have not done that, uh, well, uh, let me know, I'll create another video for that. I'm assuming that you have created two factor authentication. So let's go ahead, let's check out the rest of the process. So once you're logged into your Binance account, click on your profile name and API management. Now let's say in this case, I'm creating a test account. So, so give, give a, give a label to this, uh, to this API key. Now I'll call it test coin sutra and then click on create, right? So now I need to, uh, do three kinds of verification, email, phone, and Google verification code. So what will happen is you'll get a code on your email, you'll get a code on your phone, and you'll also need to enter your two factor authentication. So let's, uh, so let's do this. All right. So that's it, your API key is created. So this particular portion, this is your API key and this is your API secret key. Now this key will be shown only for the first time, the secret key. So you need to make sure that you use it right away. Uh, some of the tools actually let you scan the QR code so that you can add the API key quickly. And you can do that using the QR code scanner of, of the app that you're using. Now here is few things that you need to know. The API restriction is the most important part of all. So right now this API key is only read only. Now if you're using a crypto trading bot, uh, you want to enable enable trading features. To do that, you need to click on edit restriction and enable that. Uh, enable withdrawal. Now in most of the cases, you would not need to enable this feature, keep it disabled because uh, if you enable it, it would give permission to other third party to withdraw fund from your account, which is not good, which you, where you are putting yourself into risk. Uh, and then you can enable margin trading or future trading. So, the, so these are some of the features of API key of Binance. Uh, make sure that you do not enable withdrawals until unless it's essential, you know what you're doing. Enable trading is not enabled by default. So that's something you need to enable if you are using a crypto trading bot. So pretty much that's it guys. That's how you create uh, an API key for Binance. Now, if you have any question, other question about Binance API key or two-factor authentication, do let me know. Do check out coinsutra.com. Uh, you will find a lot of great content there. There are courses as well, which will help you to understand everything about crypto investment and security. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This is Harsh.